Yeah, this guy's day didn't exactly go well. Wiped along the side like an errant piece of tissue paper. Yep, you already told me that game. Uh, okay, this seems to be where the game wants me to go, so... <laughs> let's backtrack again and see what's up that ladder. Or, uh, Exolift, sorry. It's a fucking ladder and you know a game. Small pile of rare material scrap. Piles of tech scrap can be consumed- oh, so soul tokens. Gotcha. Uh, can I drop down here? Nope, that is a solid wall. Probably- probably for the best because otherwise uh, I'd probably be taking damage. Fall damage is probably a thing here. Alright, it seems to be everything that's up here. So, let's head back. Uh, maybe I should heal up. Is, is there anywhere on my HUD where it indicates how many heals I have? Yes, there is. How did I miss that? I have three of them, so yeah, I'll, I'll use one now. Better safe than sorry. Dying with heals left is like dying with the immunity idol and survivor. Incredibly embarrassing. So, okay, so... Blue means unarmored, yellow means, I guess, lightly armored, and I think there was red on the previous enemy, which I guess means heavily armored. Yeah, I know you do a two attack pattern combo, so I was waiting for that to finish. And it looks like the third heavy hit does a good job at stunning you, even if you're getting your attack ready. Probably won't be true with all future enemies, though. Yep, still getting used to the combat here, so I'll be going slowly for quite a while. I really don't want to die in the tutorial area, you know, I'd never live it down. Damn it, why don't you listen? You need to upgrade your power core or replace it, otherwise you ain't getting through that door. If you keep trying to overload it without the proper power capacity, security is going to end up all over your ass. You've been too far to get caught now. Those implants are worth thousands. This is a golden ticket out of here, man. Don't screw it up. Alright, well, this guy seems pretty skilled at blocking. Maybe I should try that out for myself. If, uh, whoever attacked me- ooh, he got me with the wind-up. Let me just heal there. Let me try again. I could probably just keep it held, but I end up taking more stamina damage, yeah. I'm not entirely sure how useful blocking will be in this game, especially how with how fast your dodge is. Pretty much a uh, bloodborne level of speed. Goodbye. Ah, he is the power core I needed. Uh, well, I'll return to the med bay in just a sec. Let me check what else is around here. Yes, yes, I know game. All right, another enemy to deal with. Ooh, this guy's considerably heavier armored, except for the right arm. You know, I understand this mechanics-wise, but it's kind of silly that I do the most damage by attacking one of his limbs, you know? It's like uh, when you're fighting a giant creature in most games, and you end up murdering them by attacking their toes. It's just a little bit silly. But that's just one of those video game isms you have to get used to if you play a lot of video games. Overcharge. Ah, but I need an intact power core. So that's how they forced me to go back. A no power core challenge run is not doable in this game, it seems. And yeah, so far they seem to be rewarding me for exploring my environment by giving me little bits of treasure here and there, so that's good. I wonder if any of it's actually useful if it's all just like minor shit. Oh, hold on, did I check inside this cargo crate? Well, now I did. <laughs> yeah, a lot of people's days are uh, kind of going poorly here. Not mine, though. I feel fine. Welcome, Warren. Alright, let's get that power core installed. Oh, yeah. I'm a full powered Warren. Use the med bay to bank your collected tech scrap. If the total amount of tech scrap you own, banked and collected, is high enough, you can level up the total core power of your exo rig. 
All equipped gear and implants consume a portion of your total core power. So yeah, much like Lords of the Fallen and very much unlike Dark Souls, whenever you get to a level up place you don't need to level up immediately, instead you can just store it. And if you have enough to level up you can do that, but if you don't, your souls, your tech scrap in this case, will still be safely stored and you won't lose them if you die, unlike if you were to keep them on you. Uh, so what is it? Okay, so I need 395, so I should have enough for two levels. Yep, and then I can just bank the rest, I, I think. How do I do that? Different button, triangle. And there you can see it's down in the bottom left, it's banked. Okay, so does leveling up just passively increase my stats, or do I have anything else I need to increase? Yep, the total core power, which is your level, I guess. Oh, so that means, yeah, the implants do require me to be a high enough level to unlock the further slots. Speaking of implants, I should be able to install one here. The uh, vital boost. Okay, I was wondering if I would be able to install the same one in multiple slots, but nope, doesn't let me. Alright, now I have 10 more HP. That'll probably help. Uh, what else can I do here? Nothing, I guess. Connection to database restored. Checking database. Gear voucher detected. Ooh, gear voucher. Free stuff. Gear voucher redeemed. First day on the job. Yep. Vino Arm Gear Schematic. Alright, I guess the game wants me to craft it here. New gear parts can be crafted from schematics by holding X when all required components are available. To change the mark you wish to craft, use right stick. Okay. Wait, maybe I should have read that more. What did that say again? Because. To change the mark you wish to craft. What does, what does that mean, mark? Like, as in mark 1, mark 2, it gets better? Ah, that's exactly the case. As you can see, the tech scrap cost is going up quite a bit each time. How much tech scrap do I have? Oh, I probably... Now I wish I hadn't spent that on levels, because uh, I can't purchase this gear. That's unfortunate. Well, I do have my starting stuff, of course. Maybe I can upgrade that. The gear assembly automatically deconstructs your salvaged items into crafting components. You can also bank your tech scrap here. Use tech scrap and crafting components to craft and upgrade your gear. Upgrading equipment increases its mark. Upgraded weapons will deal more damage in combat, and upgraded armor will increase defense. Alright then. So wait, don't I already have the Rhino arm gear and leg gear then? So... Crafting these would be pointless, I already have them, but upgrading them on the other hand, if I had the scrap, would be worthwhile. And uh, my weapon is the Reclaimed Piston. Do I have enough? I would need 741, so that's a no. I also need 9 Tungsten Alloy Mark 1, which I also don't have. Oh, wait, no. That's how much it costs to upgrade it to Mark 1, which it already is? Okay, no, so... By default, my stuff, my armor is Mark II, I understand that. And my weapon is Mark Zero, I guess? Or... I'm just getting confused by this UI. Whatever, I don't have enough tech scrap to upgrade it anyway. So that's kind of a moot point at the moment. Alright, well, I have my power core, lady. You're still here. I can't do okay, she doesn't have anything else to say. I gotta get to where she wanted me to go. Alright, so I'll be able to forge onwards then, now that I have a power core. 
Yeah, strafing seems pretty strong in this. Kind of like strafe. Okay, that would have hit me if I had continued strafing. I don't know if attacking from behind is helpful at all. Ah, that's right. There's this mechanic as well. Strike enemies to build up energy. And then hold square to perform finishing moves that cut limbs. So I would like a helmet. So let's target the head. Build up that energy. And fail to do the finisher. Just from what I've seen from watching other people play, I'm pretty sure that it's supposed to show like a, a square symbol on their body when you're able to perform the finisher. Maybe I just missed it there. There we go. And you hold it and then you go for the cool finisher. And you have a greatly increased chance to acquire the armor part that's bound to that part of the body. Uh, I probably shouldn't have struck the head since his head was unarmored and thus had nothing to acquire. That's kind of a decision you have to make on the fly. Let's go for a torso upgrade. I don't have any torso armor at the moment. It's the most heavily armored bit, but that's fine. These enemies aren't threatening. And it looks like the finisher does not require any stamina, so I can feel free to just expend my bar completely. Ah. I didn't get the drop. It is somewhat random. Instigating a finishing sequence does not guarantee the yeah, the cut will be successful. Alright, there was one other enemy over here, wasn't there? Or is he permanently dead now? Oh nope, there he goes. So let's tr try striking the torso again. Although, maybe I should try the right arm? I I'm guessing that would give me a chance for its weapon, even if it is unarmored. And I would like a more weapon variety. Hey, bingo! Astia Spectre Bite. Can I equip that here? Perfect! Okay, so you can switch weapons on the fly. So, my default weapon, the Reclaim Piston, has impact of medium, attack speed of medium, proficiency scaling of very low, and energy gain of plus 40%. Comparatively, this has higher impact, I'm guessing that's ability to stun, higher damage, lower attack speed, and slightly higher scaling, so it's a, a slower weapon. Basically, exactly what those guys were using to attack me with. Although mine is considerably faster. I mean, since I did choose the tank class, I should probably go with heavy weapons. I like this moveset too. The fact that it's a slash, a short bash, and then another slash is pretty cool. What about the uh, vertical moveset? Yep, pretty similar. You actually have uh, dash attacks in this game? You do! It looks like it's the same regardless of whether I do horizontal or vertical though. What about uh, running attacks? Oh, that too is a thing, and it's quite awesome. And again, the same regardless of which button you use. Since uh, moveset seems to be pretty simple, hopefully there's a good amount of weapon variety in this game. Alright, let's move onward. Main assembly line. Remember to cut enemy body parts to get new equipment and- y Yeah, you've told me that. This game really does not respect my intelligence at all. Again, I've been told that before game. You don't need to keep repeating yourself. Hey, this guy actually does have a helmet. Let's go for that. Ooh yeah, this is a satisfying moveset and it looks like it knocked him over too. I'm guessing that's what extra impact does for me. Wrecked Link's headgear. Alright, can I equip Armor? No, okay. So that's what it meant by it was wrecked. I can recover it as basically a blueprint to craft. But I don't get it right then and there. I wonder if that's also true for weapons, if I just got really lucky by getting the whole weapon. And when you cut off a body part, you have a chance of either getting the actual piece or a wrecked one that contributes a blueprint. Or if it's just like, armor is automatically a blu blueprint and weapons are automatically a weapon. Well, I got a headpiece. Let's go for a torso piece then. Ah, 
Oh dear. That's what I get for just spamming without letting my stamina recover first. That's fine though. I have heals. And another blueprint. Yeah, it seems like armor is automatically a blueprint. You know, it's kind of funny that they have these uh, exolifts here because um, that one indie game that's on Kickstarter right now, I think it's still on Kickstarter, that's basically a sci-fi Souls-like, has this in its alpha demo as well. I don't remember the name and I really don't care to try and look it up or anything because um, from playing the alpha demo myself, it was very rough. Basically a rougher version of this, so it's kind of pointless almost. Like, I wish them the best. I support any indie developers, but um, what they've shown doesn't exactly fill me with confidence. Whereas this actually seems pretty good so far. Uh, so I want to get up there. How do I do that? I want to get that item. Oh, there is a jump ability. L3 while sprinting. Okay, so works how jumping does in Dark Souls, but you can actually go up ledges like this. Good to know. Okay, let's take down Mr. Machine over here. Um, I forget, what leg do I have? I suppose I should go for both legs, since it's different from what I currently have. So let's go for the left leg. It's gonna keep spamming attacks here. Worked out for me this time. Okay, so leg piece is uh, ambidextrous. I can cut off one and it counts for both feet. Alright, so... But I think arms were specified. What arm piece do I have? I think I had a right arm piece. Let's go for the left then. And yep, spamming seems pretty effective. At least against these trash tier enemies. Okay, arms are... Again, I don't think ambidextrous is the actual correct word to use here, but you know what I mean. Not divided based on orientation. Same with the leg pieces. Spend energy to use implants. What does that mean? I'm guessing there's special implants that require energy to use. My healing one is not, I'm pretty sure. Ah, uh, so I can go through there. Where else can I go though? So what exactly is the cost at these overcharge stations? I haven't quite been paying attention. Oh, my core power is too low. Is that a stat that I can see somewhere? Where is it? Core power consumption, tech scrap. It's not just my level, is it? Because otherwise I would need to be like level 50 to get that. And that seems ridiculous. Uh, probably under specs. Oh, there's so many numbers here. Okay, well, I'll find that out of entry, I'm sure. Let me just make sure there isn't anything over here I could pick up. Nope. Wait. Okay, yeah, no. I was trying to see if I could climb that. Actually, that looks like it leads to progress, so let's see where this door leads. Bingo! Ooh, new implant! Sustaining Array. That's probably one that consumes energy. What does that do? Slows energy decay. Oh, that seems useful. And yeah, this is one I can equip right here, even though I couldn't do so with the vital boost. Is there anything, like, that shows on them that would show that, um, difference? Because I don't know why I could just equip this one here, but this one had to be at a med bay. Okay, well, energy decay is slow. That'll be useful. Earth doesn't need resolve. Resolve is not the answer. We've had issues with Robert Weave again, this time about the exoskeleton program. He's refused to have the implant surgery. We've explained it's hardly invasive, even offered to double his bonus. 
But no, it thinks management will use it to control the workforce. And he even brought up his union nonsense again. If he poisons the others, it could put us months behind schedule. It's amazing. He doesn't see it as making his job easier. I recommend termination. Yeah, we put up with too much of his trash talking. Oh, well, that's nice. So they can just kind of terminate you whenever they want it. Although maybe they were just referring to termination in the traditional sense of firing and not, you know, murder. These guys seem a little bit stronger. Well, they have less health, but they're more aggressive with their offense. Same armor as the other dudes, though. The same Link stuff. Let's see. Ah, this is the uh, door I came across from the other side, I'm pretty sure. Yep. Bit of a shortcut. I could go back and rest at the med bay, but I don't really need that now, do I? So far, the difficulty has been incredibly tepid. But I'm still in the tutorial area, so that's kind of to be expected. Yeah, at this point I think I've collected pretty much every armor piece from them, so I don't really need to focus on specific parts anymore. I'm sure though there is some benefit for getting additional pickups. Weapon proficiency increased. Initiating a finishing sequence does not guarantee- oh, I've seen that one before. Why do I give a shit? Okay, new implant. So, weapon proficiency is a thing in this game. I'm guessing that means as you use a weapon type, it becomes more powerful? Can I see that stat anywhere? Ah, yes, over there on the very right. So we have one-handed weapons, staves, and heavy-duty weapons for handheld, and then for rigged we have single rigged and twin rigged. I'll figure out what all that means eventually. So there's only three weapon types, hopefully there's moveset variety within those types, otherwise the combat's gonna get old fairly quickly. What's that new implant about? Plasmic Regenerator. Injectable that regenerates health over 30 seconds, ooh that seems useful. But this is another one that I have to implant at the med bay. I'm guessing that's a, a usable, like my primary healing. Over time, so it's something you can probably proc before combat so that way you're getting healed if you take damage during combat. Ooh! Which would come in handy here, for example. I should just be able to stun you to death though, like I've been doing. Nope! Okay. Let me just uh, heal up here. I'm being a bit too hasty here. I wonder if there's any benefit to not going for the um, limb cutting. If I just kill them normally, if that will get me like something else, or if I always want to try and cut off limbs. Yeah, I see you, buddy. Uh, plunging attacks a thing. Yes, but I completely messed that up. Okay, I'll have to try that out next opportunity I have. Actually, you know what? These guys are slow enough that, um, I could probably just run back over here. Yep. These guys are kind of bad about... Okay, that time it didn't do the plunging attack. Whatever. I'm done with it. I'm sure that'll be useful in the future in some instances, but for now, I kind of don't give a shit. Oh, I do love these animations, though. They're very well animated and so satisfying to see. Alright, that's probably where I need to go to progress. Let me just check around and make sure I'm not missing anything. There's probably items off in corners. Alright, another shortcut door. Oh, should be able to hop up here, right? Not quite, I need to come from elsewhere. This is going to be an ambush, isn't it? There's some enemy oh, hiding off in the corner. That's what I get for panning rather than focusing on this one dude. And I guess those red barrels aren't explosive, considering that one is crumpled. And it didn't explode. Uh, you know what? I'm just gonna heal up, use my final heal. Oh wait, I actually have one more. Didn't I use it three times though? Either I miscounted or those regenerate in some fashion. Okay, yeah, so if I don't cut off the limbs, I get small piles of scrap, which I think are those soul token items. 
So if I already have the gear, I might as well just, you know, finish them off normally. What's your least armored piece? Right leg. It seems that's a consistent thing. Every enemy has some piece that's less armored than everything else. Encouraging you to use the... Whoa, I knocked him way back. That was cool. Encouraging you to use the aiming system. Hold on, there was an item up there. I gotta figure out how to get to it. Can I, like, hop from this side? Uh, not quite. I need to get up there. Do I just need to proceed and I'll find my way over eventually, or...? Because I really don't want to miss shit. Let me make sure there's not an exo lift around here that I'm missing. Yeah, no, there doesn't seem to be, so I guess I'll just have to leave that be for now. Yeah, I gotta say, so far this game is leagues better than Lords of the Fall, and just the overall combat feel is so much more refined, and so much more fun to play. Still not as good as something like Dark Souls, but it's definitely, you know, worthy in its own right. Which is actually more than I was expecting going in. I was expecting the combat to be no better, or if it was, only ever so slightly better than Lords of the Fallen. As I said, I'm going in expecting a mediocre action RPG. And so far I've been pleasantly surprised by the quality. Once you join Creo, you will never leave. <laughs> yep, so is this taking me to somewhere I've been before, or is it a new place? I'm just gonna murder these dudes. Oh, it's giving me a tutorial, so I must have been here before. This must be... Yeah, okay, that's right where the medbay is. I should probably go rest at it, but I'm gonna be foolhardy. And yeah, I am collecting more healing charges. Let me just check out that in the implant menu. Does it say that it recovers over time? Doesn't say anything about that. Maybe I've been picking them up from enemies or loot drops without realizing? Something's causing it to restore. Burns like hell. Oh, yeah, I guess I don't want to walk into the green gas. Thanks for the warning, buds. Although, are there items hidden in there that are... Can I just, like, bum rush through? Bingo. Hey, and I'm awarded reinforced pipe. I'm gonna lay the pipe. What's that about? So, it's a medium speed weapon, slightly better than the Reclaim Piston. Weaker than my Astia Spectre Bite. Let's see... Yeah, I don't have anything else to equip, and it doesn't seem like you can dual wield weapons. You only have one at your disposal, which is a little bit disappointing. Uh, does it say what type of weapon this is? So this one is single rigged. That's a one-handed, and this one is a staff, so it's a new type of weapon, so let's try it out. I'm curious about the moveset. It's automatically two-handed. Just uh, speed back over here. Alright, let's test it out. One, two, three. Oh, that is a fancy animation. Much like the staves in Lords of the Fallen. From what little I played, I enjoyed using uh, this weapon type because of that fancy-ass moveset. I'll stick with this for a little while, I think. Something new. Trying to see if there are any other items hidden about. Looks like a nope. Oh, hey there, buddy boy. Didn't see you there. You're a stealthy sucker. Yeah, I'm just spamming away at this dude. <laughs> he was doing a bit of damage to me in return, but that's okay. Butchers... Whoa! I was gonna check the trophy description, but I don't know if this game pauses when you enter the menu. It probably does, since it doesn't have any online, but I don't want to risk that. Let me just heal up here and take you out. 
Yeah, it seems you can avoid a lot of stuff just by strafing. And yeah, that sort of shockwave seems to do stamina damage. Encouraging you to actually get away rather than continually spam at this enemy type. And you're dead. Hopefully enemy variety picks up. So far there's only been two types. A uh, new implant. Vernadium or Vivandium something. Vanadium E-Cell. Ooh, boosts maximum energy. That'll be useful. Can I equip that right away? Nope. No rescue. I like all this graffiti, especially the stuff that actually makes use of the text that was already there. That's pretty cool. It says, don't forget your- whoa! Oh, for a second though I thought an enemy was flying at me, but it was just the uh, the flag flapping in the wind. It said don't forget your roots a lot. I wonder what that could possibly mean. Yeah, level design so far is okay. Nothing amazing. But it's serviceable. That looks like a new weapon type, so I want that. Oh god, nope, 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 nope. Let me just uh, heal up quickly. <laughs> Whoops. Let me just go in for the execution kill. It seems like you have iframes doing the entirety of it. And yep, ask the Vibro Cutter. Pretty sure that's new. So this is also a medium speed weapon, one handed. Pretty decent damage. Let's try it out, especially since, you know, it's a mini chainsaw and all. Ooh, thrust on the third hit. I like. Yeah, I'll stick with this for a bit. I'm not really feeling the staffs as much as I like them in Lords of the Fallen.